right, so now I wanted to move on and show you a couple different ways to use green beans in recipes and other dishes. So rather than putting it, uh, using it as a side dish, um, incorporating it into something else. So um, the recipe I want to start with is a recipe for marinated vegetable salad. There's a little bit of prep work involved in this recipe, but the great thing about it is it's actually better as it sits. So it's a great make ahead recipe that you can store in the fridge and eat for a few days. Um, so if you're ever having company or going out somewhere and bringing some food with you, this is a great one to make ahead. So before we get started on the vegetable portion of the recipe, I just wanted to whisk together a quick vinaigrette that's gonna go over the veggies. So I'll just show you what all the ingredients are that I'm gonna be putting in here. So this is uh, lemon juice and white wine vinegar. This is olive oil. It would also work with canola oil, but I really like the flavor of olive oil here. We have some fresh chopped parsley, and I really think that it's worth going for the fresh stuff here and not using dried. You definitely get better flavor. And then here we have some more herbs and spices. So we have dried thyme, dried oregano, salt, pepper, and a little pinch of sugar just to balance out all that acidity. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And then I have some Dijon mustard here, which adds both flavor, um, but it also acts as an emulsifier. So it helps to keep your dressing um, nice and homogenous and smooth. And then I have uh, minced garlic here as well, which really adds a nice punch of flavor, as we all know. So that all gets added to the bowl and then you just have to whisk it together. So it's good to get that done and out of the way and we're going to set that aside and then we're going to add that to our salad when we're done with uh, the veggie prep. So uh, let's move on to prepping the veggies. The next part of this recipe involves cooking um, our vegetables by blanching them in boiling water and then we're going to shock them in ice water which basically just stops the cooking process so that your vegetables don't overcook and become mushy um, by cooking in their own residual heat after um, taking them out of the water. So I have my veggies all lined up here based off of how long they're going to take to cook in the water because every vegetable takes a little bit a different uh, amount of time, right? So we have our more dense vegetables. We have cauliflower and then our green beans, the star of the show. And those are gonna take about four minutes to cook in the boiling water. We're gonna take them out and shock them. And then as soon as those come out, then I'm gonna put in my zucchini and my red pepper. And those only take about one to two minutes. They're a much softer vegetable. They really only need to be in there for just a minute or two, just to kind of start the process. And that's it. Um, I do have other veggies here. I have some um, cherry tomatoes that I've halved and I have some artichoke hearts that came out of a can um, for some added flavor as well. We're not cooking those. They're great to go in as is. So we're just gonna add those at the end. Uh, so I'm going to get started on the blanching process here. Okay, I have my pot of boiling water ready to go and I'm going to add my first set of vegetables here really nice and slowly, carefully. You want to be careful not to splash yourself with the boiling water. Okay, and then I'm going to set a timer for three minutes and then we'll plunge it in the ice water. Okay, my timer just rang. So I'm going to transfer these veggies into my ice water bath using a slotted spoon. That's gonna immediately stop the cooking process right away. All these veggies are looking really good. They're nice and, the, the beans are vibrant green um, and the veggies are just in general, nice and tender um, without being overcooked. So I wanna get every last little bit there and I'm gonna leave my veggies in there for a second and I'm gonna keep this water boiling and I'm gonna add the next veggies now. So my zucchini and my peppers. And this one I'm only gonna cook for one minute. So it's gonna go really, really quick. And the last step is really just combining everything together. So I have all my veggies that I've blanched and shocked in the ice water all in one bowl. I'm gonna add my cherry tomatoes and my artichokes in there. And then I made my dressing earlier. So I'll just give that another quick whisk to make sure it's all combined. And then you just wanna pour that over top. And that's gonna be kind of what marinates it and gives it all of its delicious flavor. And then do your best to kind of stir it all up and combine everything. Um, and you can eat it straight away, of course. It's great um, to eat immediately, but I find that this actually is better um, if you let it sit for a few hours in the fridge or even up to overnight. It should be okay for two to three days even. So it's a great make-ahead dish. It's great, a great summer one to use up your summer veggies. Um, it's a great way to showcase those green beans as well. Um, and it's just colorful and beautiful. So um, that is that recipe, and I will show you another one right away here.
The next recipe I wanted to show you using green beans is a recipe for minestrone soup and that recipe can be found on my Viva plan so feel free to check it out on there and give it a try at home. Uh, minestrone soup in particular is a great way to use up summer vegetables that may be found in your garden or maybe you just have some in your fridge that need to get used up but it's a great way to use those veggies up. It's really easy to make um, and you can also freeze it really easily and save it for later if you want. So let's get started on the first step. So I have a pretty large pot here heating up and I'm going to add a bit of olive oil to the bottom of the pan about a teaspoon or two in there and then I have carrots, celery, and onions that I've diced up fairly small, and I'm gonna add that all in here. And then I'm gonna cook that off for about four minutes, four to five minutes, um, until they're nice and softened um, and nice and fragrant. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll show you the next step shortly here. Now that those veggies are softened, now I'm going to add my green beans, and I have some garlic, uh, and some dried oregano in here as well. And I'm just gonna cook that for about two minutes just to get the process started of cooking. Um, it's gonna cook again later when we add our liquids, so it's just gonna take a couple minutes. Now the next ingredients I'm gonna add are some um, spinach and some kale. And really all you need to do here is add it in and let it wilt, um, which should only take about up to 30 seconds at most. It doesn't take long at all. So I'm just going to stir that in and my hot veggies in there should wilt them right away. And yeah, they're pretty much already wilted, so that's awesome. And then the next thing I'm going to add here is my um, kidney beans. I have white kidney beans today, but you can definitely use red if you have them. So you get a little bit, of, a little bit more fiber and some protein from that. And then some diced tomatoes. Add that in. And, and then I have some broth here as well. Three cups of vegetable broth. And then some salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna bring that to a boil and let that cook for about 10 minutes, just to cook those vegetables, get them nice and soft and develop some more flavors. So we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And the last step, now that it has cooked for about 10 minutes here, all the veggies are nice and soft and it smells great, I'm gonna add some fresh chopped basil. And I don't recommend going with the dried stuff here. The fresh basil really adds a great flavor. Um, in a pinch, you can add it um, in the same step that you added your green beans and the garlic. Um, so that certainly wouldn't hurt, it's better than nothing, but if you can get fresh basil, I really do recommend it. So I'm gonna stir that in and we're all done and we can, we can eat it anytime. So that's really simple. It comes together um, really, really quickly and it's a great way to use up veggies and especially green beans. I just dished out a bowl of that minestrone soup. So I just wanted to show you quickly uh, what it looks like. It's really nice and colorful. Um, lots of delicious veggies in there. Um, and you can also add pasta to minestrone. Um, oftentimes that is a kind of a traditional ingredient that's get, that gets added. Um, so that would kind of bulk it up more and make it a little heartier. So you can add a great pasta to add would be orzo pasta or a little shell pasta or even macaroni noodles would work well. You don't need a lot in there, um, but if you wanted to do that, you could. But otherwise, it's just a great soup um, all on its own. So um, that's it for green beans for me today. So hopefully you learned a few things about green beans and how to prepare them. They're a great versatile summer vegetable um, and hopefully you can uh, try out a few of the recipes that I showed you today. Mm -hmm.